You're listening to Brandon Sports Talk, interviewing professional athletes and Paralympians and Olympians. And now for your professional athlete interview and your host, Brandon P. Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I have the privilege to interview the Madagascar Olympian alpine skier, Matthew Luminerker. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm very fine. And uh, and you? I'm doing wonderful. Can you talk about how you knew that you wanted to compete in alpine skiing? Uh, what? Uh, well, when I start? Okay, so I started skiing uh, when I was uh, three years old with my dad in uh, Little Alps. And uh, after... I took uh, I took lesson and I arrived at the ski club uh, in Les Alpes at uh, eight years old. And now uh, it's been ten years old I do race ski and uh, three years old that I do uh, international race. What was that like getting started at such a young age? And how was that like coming from a, a skiing family? Well, I started uh, skiing with my father and uh, then. Uh, then with a ski instructor and uh, then with my coach uh, at the ski club and uh, uh, my parents always uh, help me uh, even when I when I need. What was it like getting started and getting to represent Madagascar? Uh, I had a feeling of uh, belonging and duty. I need I need uh, to success. Succeed. How has it been like obviously getting to represent France and Madagascar at the same time? Represent the uh, representing representing French and Madagascar at the same time uh, allow me to more advantage to participate uh, in the race. I can do more prestigious race because when uh, I am just French is um, is more limit limited. But uh, with two uh, two nationality French and uh, Malagas, it's um, it's more open. It's a race for me because uh, I don't have uh, the stress of being the best French uh, Alpine skier. How has that been like, obviously, getting to represent as an athlete for France and an athlete for Madagascar? Uh, the, the difference are uh, the... Uh, in France, uh, there are a lot of uh, Alpine ski, and uh, it's very difficult to uh, to arrive at the top to begin the better, the best, uh, uh, the best uh, Alpine ski. And uh, with Madagascar, it's very, it's more easy because uh, there are not a lot of uh, Malagasy ski. So uh, it's uh, the best uh, the best way uh, to go on the top. What was that like getting to compete in your first ever competition in 2020? Uh, my first competition in 2020 is in uh, La Plagne with my friend. Uh, a lot of stress. I didn't sleep well. It was an incredible experience and uh, the level of skiing was uh, very impressive. But uh, it was uh, almost uh, demotivating to see uh, that we are not the same level as other skier because uh, it's my first race. Uh, but uh, it makes you want uh, to, to do the race again to improve. How was that like obviously getting to compete in your first World Cup? Uh, for my first World Cup, uh, it's a... Uh, uh, in uh, Valtons, uh, I, I love uh, this. Uh, I love the this slope, and I'm uh, very proud of my results it's because I do great performance. And uh, yeah, it's just my second giant race in the uh, international ski. So yes, it gave me a lot of assurance to continue. How has that been? Like obviously getting to compete internationally and going 
the co- different countries like U.S., Canada, Argentina? Oh no, uh, I don't compete uh, in a lot of country. I just uh, I'm just stay in France because it's very uh, it's very expensive to to travel. And in France, there are a lot of a lot of competition for ski. Uh, it's um, no, I don't need to go in other country. What was your preparation like training for the pit? for the olympics uh, but it, it's a uh, it's a year of training i train a uh, summer and winter skiing and uh, physical preparation too it's a uh, hour of gym uh, hour of slalom explanation and video but uh, yeah i need i need uh, all this uh, this training um, to arrive uh, at the olympics yeah. how has it been like obviously getting to compete for madagascar and getting to make it to the olympics Oh, my my feeling yeah it's um i don't know uh, to ski uh, ski with the Madagascar Olympic team uh, it's a, it's a lot of responsibility because uh, i represent uh, a country and uh, yes it's, uh, it's epic it's very uh, impressive uh, to um, i'm i don't know <laughs> i'm the um, i go I, I pass on the tv and uh, i represent the country uh, all around the world so I need uh, to give me uh, the best and the best uh, image of uh, of Madagascar. What was that feel like the first time you got to put on that skiing uniform for Madagascar? Uh, I uh, I'm not going uh, to lie to you to you. I felt it's uh, very exceptional uh, by uh, carrying this jacket. It's uh, unique to carry. It's a very it's a privilege. But uh, I represent the country. It's the moment when uh, we become uh, we become uh, aware of the impact that uh, we are going uh, to have on the next day. Of the Olympic Games, mm, it's pride, it's pride and uh, responsibility. Even uh, if you don't realize uh, at the first, what was that feeling like for you when you got announced to become Olympian for Madagascar? I, I feel uh, now I feel uh, integrated. I have uh, I have prove, uh, proven myself, and I have the feeling uh, to have been accepted by the Madagascar ski team and by the the Madagascar population in general too. How has it been like honestly getting to put on that Madagascar? Oscar flag and the Olympic rings mm, to um, ah, during the opening uh, ceremony. So uh, it's um, I don't know it's amazing because um, well, at first uh, we uh, we are just uh, two athletes. So me and the uh, second one is a girl, and uh, to um, to to take the the flag uh, of the of an, uh, of a country is a very um, ah it's same uh, it's a lot of responsibility because uh, all all people uh, in China and in the world in France in Austria uh, all the world is uh, see you so it's um, a lot of um, I don't know in English but uh, stress yes a little anxious. But after, uh, it's uh, just normal to, to do that. How's it been like, obviously, as you said, being one of only two, of course, as you talked about, being one of only two alpine skiers from Madagascar, how is that like, obviously, getting to represent Madagascar and alpine skiing being only one of the two to represent them? Oh, how, how I, I feel, I don't know, uh, it's... Uh, uh, just we are two to uh, two athletes and there's a good uh, good um, good ambience because um, there are a lot of of cohesion. I talk a lot. All the 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 Malagasy, uh, delegation uh, take care of me and the second athlete. What are some of your favorite memories and moments competing in the Olympics? Uh, my favorite memories um, is the moment uh, when I have finished my slalom race. Uh, Arrive at the bottom of the of the track uh, and saying uh, to yourself, uh, "It's over. Uh, I made it." It's uh, it's uh, the it's the moment when you say, um, "I have just uh, accomplished the performance of uh, of my life." So yes, the best one is yeah, when I uh, finish my slalom race. Yeah. How is that feeling like getting to go down the slopes, getting to represent Madagascar? Uh, again, uh, it was the the pressure. It was very difficult uh, slope. With a very uh, hard, very hard ice and uh, mistake uh, aren't uh, forgiven like my giant slalom, but uh, I still uh, pride uh, pr- proud uh, to represent Madagascar. Yeah. How has that been? Like obviously being your first Olympics and getting to represent Madagascar, 
what has that been like being your first Olympics and experiencing that? Uh, my uh, my first Olympics competition was uh, my giant. So uh, I, I cried a lot because uh, I lost my ski uh, because uh, of uh, my lack of technique. I have all my muscle gone. It was uh, it was wow the the fall yes I cry a lot a lot it's difficult the first Olympic but the second is better. Of course, what has the second Olympics mean to you and what was your preparation behind preparing for your second Olympics? Uh, for my second Olympics, uh, I try uh, I train a lot uh, my uh, my technique and uh, and I try to to stay focused on my ski. Uh, to evacuate the stress, the anxiety, and um, it's a it's a it's a mental mental train, yeah, a lot. Because uh, when you arrive at the start of the race, uh, it just uh, it just uh, on the head, yeah. How has that been like? Obviously, getting to meet your fans in Madagascar and internationally, and having them ask for your autographs and photos with you. Uh, when uh, when I meet uh, my fan, uh, it was just. Uh, happy moments and it make me smile it's fun uh, to to talk uh, to talk to them and they are very happy uh, to see an athlete within their country uh, i love it and uh, i uh, ha- i have uh, i have uh, had fans from other country like uh, austria france poland and i sent a letter with picture and dedication uh, it was very fantastic what was that feeling like the first time you got to sign your autograph and add oly behind your last name my first autograph with the with the whole eye uh, at the end uh, it's after my slalom race i have uh, seen a book <laughs> and uh it was very uh, gratifying who are some of the people that you look up to in the skiing community the sk- Ski, what, the ski community yeah. uh, in Alpine ski, um, it's uh, Marcel Hirscher who, who has uh, always made me uh, my dream by this uh, monstrous uh, performance. When when you see Marcel Hirscher, it's just uh, just impressive, and you don't uh, understand why uh, he can do that. And uh, Yes, it's a it's a legend. Yeah. What has that been like for you? Obviously, at the biggest stage, getting to compete against. U.S. athletes, Canada athletes, and Mexico athletes. Uh, the U.S. Uh, athletes, um, maybe is uh, Alexander Kidd. It's a very, uh, very good athlete, and uh, no, uh, I love him because uh, he have a good performance, and it's very uh, he have a very good ski. Being a first time Olympian. How has that been like, obviously, getting to learn against some of those legends that have competed in multiple Olympics? Well, it's very, uh, it's amazing. Also, <laughs> just, uh, I appreciate uh, the moment. And, uh, Who are some of the people that have inspired you and have been an influence in your career? Oh, okay. Other people who influence my career, oh, it's... Uh, it's Marcel Hirscher too because uh, just the the best skier of the of the world and uh, during a long time it was uh, no, he was uh, he was seventy um, seven seven time uh, world champion so yes uh, it's my head on yeah. what was that feeling like receiving your Olympic ring with the Madagascar symbol on it and the Olympic rings knowing that all of your hard work paid off to make it to the Olympics? Oh, the feeling uh, uh, when you see your country on the, with the Olympic rings, it's, um, it's very significant because it's, uh, it's the moment when you realize um, when, when you are a little country, uh, you can do uh, the, same, uh, the same things that like uh, the big country, example, uh, USA or France, uh, you have your place and, uh, and uh, I, I can uh, proud, uh, proud of me, proud of the Olympic Madagascar ski team. No, it's a very um, a, a big um, symbolization. What was that feeling like living out your Olympic dream? The Olympic dream. <sighs> I train uh, um, all the, the time to Olymp- the train. Oh, I don't understand. What was the feeling like getting to live out your Olympic dream and making it to the biggest stage at the ah, Olympics? Okay. Uh, the Olympic dreams, uh, it's a dream of uh, of many years. And uh, when uh, you do it, uh, you feel like uh, 
you you have success in your career. I'm proud uh, of myself, and uh, I would like to try again uh, in four years in Italy for my personal experience. Uh, we uh, with uh, without uh, without stress uh, done uh, this first time. How has coming from a out from a skiing family? What has that been like? Getting to represent your family from uh, the skiing level at the biggest stage at the Olympics. Uh, oh, I represent my family, but. My my mom, uh, she she's coming uh, at the Olympics, and uh, it was the uh, the moment when I take a lot of picture with her to um, to show. Um, yes, uh, it's um, I think it's thanks to my uh, family uh, if uh, I'm here today, and um, I. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, my my mom is. Uh, I take a lot of picture with her in China because uh, it's the uh, it's this uh, I don't know it's the things to to show to her. Uh, I'm very proud of uh, of her to have uh, helping me uh, since uh, many years. What are some of your future plans in the sport of alpine skiing? Uh, with my uh, study, uh, I don't know if uh, I will have the time to continue training as much as before, but uh, I want to continue racing <clears throat> as much as possible. Uh, will, I, will I have the time? But yeah, it's, now it's more difficult uh, than the year after. What are some... What advice would you give those people that are looking to become future alpine skiers, whether they're first starting off in college? Mm, well, for the, uh, I say uh, trying, uh, trying alpine ski is a sport uh, that's uh, very different from uh, any other, particularly with uh, with friends. Yeah, uh, it uh, it can be great experience with a lot of memories. What advice would you give those people that are looking to become professional alpine skiers? For professional uh, alpine ski, uh, stay stay focused and try uh, try to give uh, to give it your you how you have to to set goals and look at uh, look at the possibilities uh, in the lead to you in order to evolve. Uh, well, uh, well, has uh, was uh, possible. What advice would you give those people that are looking to represent a country and compete at the Olympics? Wow, that was, it was difficult. Uh, train, uh, train uh, yourself to to failure. Uh, find your limits and uh, develop it uh, until you become an expert. You you have uh, to be determined and. Um, this is not a drug. Uh, you have to really push your training uh, to the limits. What advice would you give those people that are looking to compete at the Olympics for the first time? Uh, an advance uh, for the first time. Um, I would say uh, ski quickly. Arrive uh, at the bottom of the race. Uh, you must live uh, happy and uh, without regrets. <laughs> That's all. Just That's great me. advice. Where can my listeners find you at on social media? Yes, uh, I can... Uh, send you some uh, some video yeah thank you again math matthew numer for your interview on best of luck in your future representing madagascar as an olympian alpine skier thank you uh Brinson. and uh see you next time thank you you can find brandon sports talk on facebook at brandon sports talk instagram at brandon sports talk twitter at talk underscore brandon and you can find me on youtube at brandon sports talk don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you again matthew Numer, for your interview and best of luck in your future. Thank you. You've been watching Brandon Sports Talk. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to Brandon Sports Talk on social media and on YouTube.